In this video, we review the benefits of using cloud services. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. In this video, we go over the skills measured in the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. This video covers the topic, describe the benefits of using cloud services, located under Describe Cloud Concepts. Before we get started, please like, subscribe to the channel, and give me a shout out on social media. Your support is appreciated. Keep an eye on the playlist for updates and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. The slides used in this video are available at my website. The link is below. Let's get started. We'll start this off with high availability. This is something I've referred to so often in my career, I kind of overlooked what it means. Let's consider it from the end user perspective first. High availability is about limiting downtime to improve the user's experience. I heard a saying once, do your job well and nobody will ever know. I love that saying when it comes to IT, because if things are done well, the users don't need to think about the technology. But what does that mean from an IT pro perspective? High availability is about designing and building systems that can withstand outages. Redundancy and automatic failover is part of the design. We think in terms of when something fails, not if something fails. Cloud services can accommodate high availability. We can leverage load balancer and distributed systems. We can replicate data across the country or across the globe. There are systems built in to accommodate designing for high availability, some free and some at a premium. Let's talk about scalability next. Scalability is the ability to grow based on demand. This could be manually or automatic, such as increasing CPU core count or RAM on a VM when performance bottlenecks are detected or based on anticipated demand or even a schedule. Retailers during holidays, for example, may want to increase capacity before performance limits are reached. Another important factor with scalability is elasticity. This is the ability to scale up and scale back down based on demand. In the cloud, we generally only pay for services we use. So having the ability to grow when needed, then scale back down when the demand subsides can have significant cost savings. Compare that to on-premises where systems are built to support peak demand. The rest of the time, the resources are idle but still costing the organization money. There are two ways to scale. Systems can scale up or vertically, increasing the capacity of a system, such as adding RAM or CPU as stated earlier. The other option is to scale out or horizontally, increasing the capacity by adding instances of a resource. Using a virtual machine as an example, Instead of adding more CPU or RAM to an existing VM, we could add additional VMs to a pool to handle increased demand. Let's move on to the benefits of reliability and predictability in the cloud. These concepts are somewhat abstract. There is no specific technology that provides reliability. Matter of fact, much of the responsibility for reliability comes from how the application or service is built. But designing applications or services in the cloud provides a lot of opportunities to create reliability. The Azure Cloud has multiple layers of redundancy built in. There are over 220 data centers spread across 60 regions worldwide, connected by over 165,000 miles of fiber optic cable. Most services in Azure are backed by a guarantee of availability with service level agreements, or SLAs. An SLA defines the level of service that the customer can expect. The SLA increases with applications or services that leverage multiple regions and data centers in their design. What then does it mean to be predictable? For starters, we can go back to the SLAs. SLAs provide a guarantee baseline of performance and availability. Cost is a significant factor with predictability. Although we only pay for services we use in the cloud, those costs are not insignificant. Pricing data allows us to know exactly how much a service costs. If we need to scale out a service, we can use pricing data to get an accurate understanding of the associated costs. Compare this with traditional IT, where multiple applications run on the same infrastructure, such as servers, storage, and networking. There's usually spare capacity to accommodate growth. It's difficult to identify how those costs are split between different departments or projects. In Azure, we can categorize expenses by subscription, groups of services, or use service tags to identify costs down to the specific Azure service. That was an overview of high availability, scalability, reliability, and predictability in Azure cloud services. 
please subscribe to the channel and keep an eye on the playlist for updates. Thanks for watching.